I'm Dawn Smiles and I'm a vascular scientist. I'm about to scan Tom Wainwright's leg. What we're going to do is look at his leg, do a baseline scan looking at the volume of blood that comes back up to the heart at rest in the popliteal vein. Then we're going to scan again but this time with the gecko on which will force blood back up to the heart every second and look at the difference in volume so therefore the impact the gecko is going to have. So I'll just start by just scanning behind the leg. I've got the popliteal vein on top and the artery underneath. So if I put the colour flow on and you can see the artery pulsating away there and the vein isn't, which is normal. And just to demonstrate the blood flow, what I can do is augment Tom's calf. You'll see the vein just fill up. Now, the next step, I'm happy with where I am, is that I'm going to turn the probe into a longitudinal view. And you can see again, the vein is above and the artery is below. I'm going to just interrogate that vein in a little bit more detail, look at the blood flow. I'll then move these calipers over a four second window and then I'm going to measure the diameter of the vein and we have got a volume of 3.23 mils per minute. Okay, now we're going to take another measurement but this time we're going to put the gecko on. I'm going to put the gecko on level three and we've got a movement of the foot there and just see how much blood volume we get. And you can see here it looks pulsatile like it's an artery but we're not, we're in the, we're in the vein still. So again I'm going to just move over a four second period and set that measure which gives us volume flow of 94.91 mils per minute so there's been a significant increase so if we just have a look at the previous one just to remind us so at rest you can see there's a very small amount of flow as it's going back up towards the heart and we've got blood volume of 3.23 mils per minute. Then with the gecko on, on level three, we have 94.91 mils per minute. And you can see we've got pulsatile flow, so it looks very much like an artery.